Welcome guys, this is Tech Knowledge Made Basic. I'm going to create a series of tutorials on Windows 8, starting from the most basic, intermediate, to the most advanced features of Windows 8. The reason I want to create it is recently I've had a lot of people come to me and ask me different questions on Windows 8 and also have their own opinion of Windows 8 before they've even used it. And what I want to do is just want to clear things up. Just want to make things clear on how Windows 8 works. And I, what I do, what I, what I hope for is that by the end of the series of tutorials you'll have your own opinion as to whether you want to keep using Windows 8 if you already have it or even want to purchase a Windows 8 PC. Uh, so what I want to do, what I want to start with is this start screen here. Now this is the screen that you're going to be met with when you turn your computer on and that's after you've logged on. So prior to this screen you're going to have a, a log on screen. It's where you have your username and password if you have a password. So once you get past that screen you're going to be met with a new Windows 8 start screen. And all these squares and rectangles that you're looking at on my screen is what the Windows 8 start screen is comprised of. These are tiles. So, and tiles come in basically two different variations. You have regular tiles like these, which have the picture and also a, a description or the name of the program that it's associated with. Then you have live tiles. And what these live tiles do is they'll present, as long as you're connected to the internet, they'll present live up-to-date information to whatever that tile is associated with. So let's say you have a sports tile that's going to give you live up-to-date sports information. Uh, you have a news tile that's going to give you live up-to-date news information. And it comes in handy to the point that you won't have to leave the start screen to get some information that you may need on a daily basis like the weather. You know, you'll get, you'll get live up-to-date weather also. So you have live tiles and you have regular tiles. Now, the next thing is that these tiles are grouped together in groups. So what you see here is that I have one group here on my left-hand side, I have one group here in the middle, and then I have another group here on the right-hand side. So we have three groups of tiles on my, on my screen. And what you can do with these tiles is different things. You can rearrange them pretty much in any way you, you want to rearrange them. Now, for example, now I'm using a keyboard and mouse. I'm going to show you some of the touch aspects of Windows 8 in a, in a later tutorial. But right now what I'm using is a just a keyboard and mouse and because this computer here is not touch. So we're going to take and do a left click over this mail tile because I want to move it around. Do a left click but make sure to hold it. Do not let go of that left click. And what I can do is just drag it with my mouse. And let's just say I want to place it right over here below these two tiles. If I let go of the left click it's going to drop it within that group. So now what I've taken is I've rearranged one tile from one group, taken it to another group. But if I don't like it there, I can do another left click, drag it right across the screen, move it right back to where it was. Another thing you can do is rearrange tiles within their own group. So you can take, let's say, this Mozilla Firefox tile, and I want to move it to the right side because I don't like it to the left of Google Chrome. I just, I'm a little weird about it. So let's move it. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better. So as you can see, you can rearrange the tiles within their own group. Let's just take uh, Excel. I don't like it next to Word, which is blue. Green and blue just don't look right. So I'll put it down here. Now we have PowerPoint, Word. Actually, they're still together. That was my fault. There we go. So we have two green ones. But we have Publisher and Excel close to each other, and then we have a purple one. But the thing I just want to show you is that you can rearrange tiles within their own group, and you can also take one tile from one group and put it in another. Now the last thing I want to go over in this tutorial is just the fact that you can also create a brand new group. Maybe I want to put all these Microsoft Office tiles in their own group just so they'll look better on my screen. What I can do is if I do a left click again right over the word tile, don't let it go. If I drag it to the right of my screen, you're eventually going to see this bar appear. And that bar is letting you know that you're actually going into a whole nother group. And if I drop it to the right of that bar, now I have a fourth group. You can tell because I have this big spacing in between the other group that it was just in. So I have big space here, big space here, big space here. So now you can see that I have one, two, three, four groups across my screen. And let's just put PowerPoint over there so Word isn't all by itself. Okay, Excel, and let's just put OneNote. So now I have four tiles within their own group. And as you can see, now I'm going to have to scroll across my screen so I can see all the groups that I have, whereas before I didn't. So that's something we'll also talk about a little bit later. But I have one, two, three, four different groups. What I've also shown you is how to rearrange them, you know, what the start screen is comprised of, which are different tiles, the fact that you also do have live tiles. And if you access the Windows Store, which is also something we'll talk about a little bit later, if you have a Microsoft account, you can download different apps, which will also create tiles all the way across uh, your screen. 
So that's the information we went over. I do thank you guys for watching, and I appreciate your time.